there's plenty of great traders in Wall Street, right? I mean, that that's what Wall Street does, right? It's a competition to find the best traders. So there's people I know who've made almost 100% a year. Um, so, you know, that's what Wall Street looks for. And some of that's luck, obviously, right? But um, a lot of it's talent, too. There's a great book, if you want, um, to read. It's, uh, and I recommend all his books, but it's called The, the New Market Wizards by Jack Schwager. He's already written a bunch of books, including The Market Wizards, the first, first book, um, and a couple others, Market Wizards books. The whole series is really, really good. Um, and I, I would read that, especially The New Market Wizards, because – or I'm, I'm sorry, it's called – unknown market wizards it's got a yellow cover i read it in prison i really enjoyed it um and uh it was um just covered like not like you know the big traders we all know about but like just random dudes who one one guy is a bellhop actually at a hotel and he trade he's in poland and he has one of the best trading track records ever and it's really funny because he it might be czech republic but it's one of these eastern european countries and he basically just doubles his account every year and just lives off of of that as well as um, the uh, income he makes off as being a bellhop and um, literally like carrying bags in, in a hotel. And uh, every year he spends the amount of profits he makes. So he starts back at like 50 grand every year. So it's a really, really funny kind of thing. Cause like, I want to find this guy and give him a real amount of money, but it's uh, it's, there's other traders that have taken, you know, a million dollars to a hundred million, things like that. There's plenty of stories like that. And um, so in hedge funds, there there are a lot of traders like that. Um, again, they do less well once the amount of money gets significant. Um, once you get to several hundred million, that's kind of a new. Usually around two or three hundred million, it's kind of hard to swashbuckle in the markets too well. And then after a billion, it's really really hard, you know. But anyone who's a really good trader typically doesn't need other people's money. They they can compound really fast themselves. Um, so in any event, I think um, one of the things I wanted to add is, you know. Um, no, I think that's it. I mean, I think the quantitative investors kind of have the ball right now. You know, you can probably write an algorithm um, and make 50 to 100 percent in the market um, fairly easy if you're good at that space. Renaissance Technologies is still doing that and they have 15, 20 billion in the medallion fund. So if they can do it, I think um, you can probably do it, too. But, you know, it's again, they have sort of some secret sauce as well. So it's difficult. You have to be an expert in computer science and economics and all kinds of things like mathematics, mathematics, you know, uh, you know, microstructure markets. It's really not like some simple thing. Right. I mean, leverage, you have to really master uh, a lot of areas to do it really well. But I, I, I think you'd be surprised at how um, algorithmic trading like it's not too hard to get a start. It's just, again, very, very complex. Um, once you can get through some of the initial complexity, I think it's actually easier than it looks. <laughs> one, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. One, one thing I wanted to add that was really interesting is I showed the new, the new market or unknown market wizards book to one of my friends who I think is one of the best traders I ever met. Um, and I said, uh, read this book. What do you think? And he said, Myron, I don't want to read a book like that. Cause if I read it, it's, I already know everything in there. And I said, it's funny because I think the same way and I am a pretty good trader myself and um, or at least investor. I've earned some pretty high returns over the years. And I said, um, the reason I read a book like this is because any one page, if there's just one thing I didn't know that adds to my game and gives me a couple percent a year more, yeah. then it's worth its weight in gold. It's a $20 book, right? <laughs> like, you know, if I can add 0.1% return to my returns i'm happy it's a good investment it's a good use of my time and he said it's funny you say that because i just saw an interview with denzel washington who has already made you know 30 or 40 uh great movies and he still takes acting lessons and i said what's the relevance and i knew where he was going with it but he said if denzel at 50 is still taking acting lessons and he said why do you somebody said why do you do that denzel and he said if i could add even one little thing to my game to become a better actor i want to do it and it's worth my time so really good um thought process there, I think, in terms of trying to improve um, skill as a trader. The problem with um, trading, though, is that if you you can poison your skill, too. Like People who have a really good trading process, um, learning too much away from that process can hurt you, so you have to be a little bit careful about how you do that.